I'm going to teach you diaphragmatic breathing. Because if you do that and breathe with your belly, yeah. and, and when you're beautiful, beautiful women hold their stomachs in. Yes. And they wear tight clothes. Hilarious. I don't want you wearing yeah. tight clothes. Right. Oh, oh. Me neither. I'm doing all this diaphragmatic breathing. Because, <laughs> because, so imagine these are your lungs. Oh, that's hilarious. And you know, you breathe so that you get oxygen, and your brain is the most oxygen hungry organ in your body. Mm -hmm. So it's 2% of your body's weight, about three pounds but it uses 20% of the oxygen mm. in your body. So when we do whole body scans, it's like the brain's this little heater mm. and everything else is ghostly. Mm. In between your lungs and your belly, you have a big muscle okay. and the muscle's called your diaphragm. Mm -hmm. And you know, in your belly, you have all sorts of stuff. You have a liver and a pancreas and kidneys and stomach. 30 feet of intestines, you have a lot. <laughs> yeah. And if you ever watched a baby breathe or a puppy breathe, always yeah. with their oh, belly, yeah. they keep their chest still and it's all here. Huh. So when you breathe in, I want you to stick your belly out. Mm -hmm. And when you breathe out, I want you to stick your belly in and I want you to exaggerate it initially. So what I'll have you do is I'll have you lay down on the couch I'll put a book on your belly and we'll just watch the book go up when you breathe in huh. and watch it go down when you breathe out and practice it. This skill, from a singer's perspective, mm -hmm. you'll double your lung capacity mm -hmm. because when you stick your belly out, you flatten the diaphragm and it doubles your lung capacity. All right, okay. lay down, put your head over here. We're doing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I just breathe my stomach. Yeah. Slow, deep, mostly with your stomach. What I want you to do is think about four seconds in. Hold it just for a second, and eight seconds out. Yeah, you're doing great. And just try to keep your chest still. And just over time, it's a skill to build, but you're already doing it just about perfect. I'm gonna work on this whole thing for a while. And this is really interesting to watch the book. I mean, they usually say, like, put your hands on there and watch it rise, but I don't know, this is a lot better. Yeah, no, you're doing great. So practice this okay. at home. Or another thing, let me trade the book for the anteater. Because <laughs> you know why we have What's the anteater. What's up, bro? To uh, get yeah, rid of my the ants. ants. Yeah. You want to get rid oh, of the ants. ants. I'll let you take him home. Um, you had a T.Y. Beanie Baby? Because <laughs> it's like you don't need any ants, so you have to have an anteater. It's hilarious. To get rid of it. And when you have sad thoughts or mad thoughts or anxious thoughts, your breathing disintegrates. Right. As you start so to breathe you breath, with your right? chest, you breathe fast, it's more erratic. And the simplest thing to do is just get control of your breathing. So you have to practice this a couple times a day. And then when you need it, like you're going to perform and you get anxious, or you're in a situation that makes you anxious, you'll know how to do it. It's the very first thing to do to break a panic attack.